Crystal. Today we're going to be doing this purple flower nail design. So I hope you guys like it. First you want to start off with a white nail polish. The one I used is by NYC and it's in shade Little Italy. And I put two coats on the nail. When that's dry, you want to get a purple nail polish. And the one I used is by Sally Hansen and it's in shade Applause. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on a piece of paper. And now I'm going to take a paintbrush. And this paintbrush I got at an art store. And I'm going to dip the paintbrush into the nail polish. And create kind of like a fireworks pattern. Just like that. And now I'm just going to make those lines thicker. So they look like petals. Alright, so now that you've painted on the purple flower, you want to take a pink nail polish. This one is by Sally Hansen and it's in shade Jewel Frost. And I'm going to put that on a piece of paper again. And with the same paintbrush, I'm going to go over the purple right in the middle. Okay, so now that you painted the pink part on the nail, you want to clean off the paintbrush with some nail polish remover. And now what you want to do is get the same white nail polish you used and put some on a piece of paper again. And you want to put a little bit of white nail polish in the middle of the flower. Just like that. Okay, so now that's done, you want to get a black nail polish. The one I'm using is by Midi, and it's in shade 346. And I'm going to put some on a piece of paper again. And I'm going to take the paintbrush. And paint on some dots in the middle of the flower on top of the white part. Just like that. So it kind of looks like pollen. Alright, so I'm going to clean off the paintbrush again. And now I'm going to take a green nail polish. And this one is by MijiNailArt.com. And it's a pretty green color with a little bit of gold flecks in it. And I'm going to put it on the paper. And I'm going to take my paintbrush again. And I'm going to dip it into the nail polish. And create little vines on the nail. just like that and then you want to let that dry and put on a top coat of some clear nail polish and that's pretty much it i hope you guys like this nail design and i'll talk to you guys later bye